We have bought a penthouse apartment. We have bought a penthouse apartment. It sounds insane. Cause if I'm the ocean, you're the rain. We only need each other, baby, you know we're the same. What's up, besties? Good morning! I'm gonna start this vlog right here, right now. Super excited, super stoked. Now that the cat's out the bag, mm -hmm. it's been quite surreal insane and a whole bunch of everything in between so yeah the kids out the bag we are moving insane it blows my mind we are moving out of here i'm honestly very excited this place has served us gave us exactly what we needed the initial plan was never to stay here for long anyway but we had envisioned about two to three years and here we are a year later and we're ready to move out which has been like I said, very surreal, very unbelievable, but also very exciting. One of the questions that I got a lot on Instagram, funny enough, even though I hadn't said anything on Instagram, but I think majority of you guys just saw the vlog here yesterday, oh, not yesterday, day before yesterday, and that basically just ran to ask me on Instagram because it's more private and you can direct message and all that fun stuff. So the question I've been getting the most is, are we gonna be renting? Are we gonna be buying? Is, is this the forever home that I kept talking about? And what is the deal? So. I thought, you know what, instead of just jumping into the vlog, because I do have some cute little footage I want to show you guys from when we took the kids to go see the new place and all the fun stuff, but I wanted to just sit on here and do a miniature life update, if you want to call it, because I'm not entirely sure what I would call this, so let's just call it a miniature life update. We have bought a penthouse apartment. We have bought a penthouse apartment. It sounds insane saying that out loud because I never imagined us going down this route but at the same time it's so exciting to go down this route. I've always convinced myself that we need a biggest house because that's what society tells you. You need to go to school, get a job, get married, have kids and buy a biggest suburban house and it's sad to say but I think I've been riding on that for so damn long that I had convinced myself that we need a huge-esque house with a huge-esque backyard and gigantic swimming pool and that's how we will have made it but honestly this penthouse has turned things around for me it has made me realize that actually apart from the saying that home is where your people are i appreciate cozy spaces and i'm not saying let's be like plugged into one space and squeezed in and everybody has to scooch in but it should be comfortable but not massive <laughs> i don't think i'm a big ass house kind of girl i like intimate cozy spaces to be honest i really like it when we're all on one floor it's cozy we're together maybe in a few years that might change maybe as the kids grow older that might change because you know eventually they all want their own bedrooms and eventually you know they become teenagers and life gets very tricky so you never know we might end up having to get an additional bedroom meaning another four bedroom house but at this point this three bedroom cozy penthouse apartment is exactly what we need and more. It's way bigger than this apartment that we currently in. So yeah, we have bought a whole <sighs> penthouse apartment. Oh my gosh, the view out of that place is incredible. I was saying to Dizzy, I, I legit see myself living on the balcony because the view is refreshing, it's incredible, it's just, it's everything, man. I mean, when we went to go view the place, we initially looked at the ground floor units because that's what parents do, the first thing you do. You're like, let's see if the kids are gonna have a place to play. You know, we need a yard so they can play outside, all the that stuff. And we got there, the ground floor unit was so underwhelming and we went to the penthouse and we're like, wow, wow. Like the guy didn't even have to convince us. We literally applied on the spot on the day. All of this happened the day before we went on our December road trip. Actually, I did talk about it. I did talk about it on the vlog. So we want to go view a place that literally just popped up on the internet. We were sitting there and we're like, oh, that looks interesting. So let's go see. So we're going to go do that. And then we're going to come back. I need to take the car to the car wash. I remember saying we just saw a place. We're going to go view a place. And uh, after we viewed that place the very same day, we got super stoked. We loved it. We fell in love. And we made the application. And it got approved while we were still traveling, I believe. And that's why we had to come 
up trip shorts to come back home because now all of a sudden we're gonna need all this money so we can move there can't be blowing money on the road and that's why we had to quickly come back from Cape Town and just come back home and just be as regular and basic as we possibly can be I remember saying to Disney this is probably one of the craziest and slightly expensive spur of the moment decision we've ever made but I think we were both at a point where we knew this place just wasn't working as well as we hoped it would. So I think it's just really time to go. Another thing we are getting out of Joburg, the apartment is not in Joburg. We are moving to Pretoria. It is very exciting, but also it's slightly scary. I've never imagined myself staying in Pretoria. I've never, I think I probably even said it before that I don't think I want to stay in Pretoria, but at the same time, this penthouse apartment that we're moving into is so us it's so peaceful it's so it's kind of everything we need right now you know and we thought why not just jump into it and commit take the leap and go i have been begging dizzy for us to get out of Joburg for the longest time and i know moving from Joburg to pretoria is like a parallel move but it is also one step to seeing what's out there you know seeing what life is like outside of Joburg and what we can or cannot do i don't know if you guys remember but when we moved in here i did say that the plan here is we want to stack up a little bit of money so that we're able to pay down deposit on whatever we're going to be buying next the plan was to buy a forever home but to be honest i i don't know know what a forever home looks like for us right now because I honestly and truthfully do not want to stay in the city but Dizzy wants to be in the city or closest to the city and we haven't found a place that's giving us that we can't put our lives on hold just because we haven't found a place we want to stay at so yeah that's the news we bought a penthouse apartment it's very exciting thank you guys so damn much for all your sweet messages for all your congratulatory messages we really appreciate you guys i think i tried to respond to every single one of them i have i've been reading every single one of them it's really so heartwarming to see you guys get so excited for us as much as we are excited for ourselves it's very refreshing because you know it's not all the time where you get a community of people that borderline don't know you but also know you get to experience moments with you and get just as excited as you are for those moments so i really am thankful for you guys and i really appreciate you guys really just thank you for the bottomless bottom of my heart thank you one thing and i wanted to address i saw a question pop up about this like i don't remember which blog it was but we went to go see mobile homes and RVs and caravans and stuff and I said I hope it will make sense soon and now here I am saying we bought a penthouse apartment like tell me we're confusing without telling me we're confusing here's the deal myself and Dizzy Basil we talked a lot a lot we spent so many nights talking last year about you know taking the kids off school and just traveling around South Africa for a year so basically just living spending a month in each province and seeing where that leads sort of like you know scouting for a different province that we can make home and also building memories creating adventures and all the fun stuff while we edit we were basically set on getting either an RV or a caravan now the problem with the RV is and Daisy kept saying see the thing is if we need to buy bread we kind of have to uproot the whole house to go buy bread <laughs> and i was like that's a better point so then we were kind of sort of settling on getting a caravan because then you just sort of park that secure it and then the car can still be mobile and that was supposed to actually happen this year so at the beginning of this year we were gonna pack up get the kids out of school gamma was gonna do online schooling if that was gonna work out but we were happy for her to just skip a year it's just great for school to school when you come back there'll be school she was gonna skip a year if the school wasn't allowing to do homeschooling or online schooling and we we're gonna hit the road we are working from home so we we're not quitting our jobs because you're gonna finance these things right <laughs> but then Something incredible happened, you know, Dizzy Basil got a new offer at work and you know with a new offer you sort of have to now start proving yourself to new management, you have to now find a way to fit into the team and uprooting our lives and being on the road or out of province just wasn't ideal. So with that being said, we sort of just realized it's not gonna work, it's gonna take another three months for him to settle into his new job and for him to sort of get used to how things work and for the team to get to know him for who he is before he can come up with all these excuses of, I need to, to go on a trip, my kid this, my kid that. So we decided, okay, let's pause that for a minute. It's not canceled, it's not. So don't be surprised if I'm like, ta-da, we are going on the road. 
it's all cancelled we decided to just pause that for a minute and rather just let things be and then the penthouse just found us i honestly it was just such an incredible experience and coincidence if if it is so we kind of sort of getting a bit of both dizzy gets to start his new role he gets to be comfortable gets to meet the team they get to know him all the fun stuff while we also started this new adventure as a family into this new incredible penthouse apartment that is gonna hopefully build more happier memories and we can do all of the fun stuff in there together as a family so yeah i feel like i rambled a lot in this vlog it's probably gonna be long i think that's where i'm gonna stop we have bought a penthouse apartment it is very exciting it is a whole new adventure but i gotta tell you guys i have not and butterflies in my tummy just trying to figure out how we're gonna make it a home because lord knows i don't want to mess it up i think it was so easier to just paint walls and do things in these apartments because we've been renting and moving out you just probably feel like the holes you just repaint and buzz our uncle but now this is our home you know it's ours and it's it's a whole different feel it, it really is a whole different feel so i'm really nervous about it but also very excited i've realized in this journey of us getting this apartment even though it was very short i mean everything happened so quickly i'm very grateful for that i think us getting this apartment was just so meant to be in a way because i'm the one who is always constantly nagging about getting out of job because i'm so damn tired of the city life that it took me and dizzy having this dramatic argument in the car one time we're coming from viewing a place and he just said to me you know you keep asking to get out of job but you're not you're not doing anything about it you you're not acting like you want to get out of Joburg and, and it took that moment for me to realize that actually he's right you know I haven't been pulling my weight I've just been complaining been dropping hints but not really doing anything about it he's the one for the most part who's been going out there and doing things and I would say no and I would say no and he's telling me I'm tired I, I don't know what you want you need to give me an idea give me something anything so that I can like you know try and get us there and it took that argument to actually make me realize that I've been the anchor this whole damn entire time so yeah this this penthouse was honestly meant to be it was I don't want to say fate because the last time I said put it up to the universe people came attacking me telling me I don't believe in God and I should go to church and stuff so I don't know I don't know I don't want to say I don't want to label it it is just what it is but the gut feeling that I'm getting about this pen house are all good and warm and fuzzy you know it's exactly what i needed but i didn't even know i needed it so that's where we are we did take the kids to go view their apartment very recently so i'm gonna roll the footage here when i'm done rumbling and they were so excited i mean just seeing the looks in their faces it was just so heartwarming so incredible and it just sort of like solidified everything around this penthouse that it's just it like i said the gut feeling everything inside is warm and fuzzy it's just it feels right so i'm very excited dizzy is excited i did ask him before he left he just left now to go meet up with his colleagues and i said to him are you comfortable with me talking about this penthouse on the vlog or would you rather i not because you know it's not just my place he's like of course like talk about it talk about it if you want to just just share what you're comfortable sharing he's happy about it i'm happy the kids are happy everybody's happy so Here's to new adventures, right? But before then, let's roll what happened when we took the kids to go see the apartment for the first time ever. What's up besties? Good morning! Today we're gonna take the kids to the new house so we can show them. They've actually never been. We tried taking them, but it was closed. It was before we got the keys, so the whole place was closed. So it was the besties. He's got the keys to our house. We tried taking them, I think it was last week or so, but we hadn't gotten the key and the clothes and the people were not there in the office because, you know, December holidays, everybody was still there. But now that we got the key, why not take them today? And we're also going to go pick up the stationery from Dean's. Let's just make it a double trip. Pick up the stationery, show the kids at home and take some load with while we edit, yeah? I, I smell it as well too. Yeah. In my, in here, my neck. Oh, in your neck? How was your sweetie? Good. Good. 
<laughs> this basil has been hot at work. He just dismantled the tables that we're sitting in here, which is fantastic. I think I'm gonna need that suitcase though. He took the triangle thing that used to stay here and I wanna take all my shoes with. Well, most of them anyway, because I don't I don't wear majority of them, so there's no need for them to be sitting here still waiting for Kingdom, because Kingdom is not coming. They may as well go today. But I also wanna take most of my clothes because again, I don't wear most of these things. I'm still working from home. Just a few outfits should be able to take me through the next two weeks while we're here. I'm just gonna wait for Dizzy to get back from the car right now because I think he went to go put the triangle thing shelf that had my shoes on well in his shoes our shoes let me not just say my shoes as if it's only my shoes it's not he went to put that in the car so i'm just gonna wait for him to come back and let me know if i should pack the suitcase or just bring the shoes and call it a day but i really want to take clothes with though i am cooking up oats for the kids in the meantime we're about to get low chitting now at eight it is about five minutes to eight so that's cooked it's great is there space in the car plenty should i pack the suitcase and then what should I put my shoes in? Okay. You're a baby? Is that you? Mm -hmm. Mama, this is you here. Uh, that's actually really. That's not you, that's baby really. No, me. Um, it's baby really. He was one day old. Do, do you want it to be you? Okay, it can be you. Baby Polo <laughs> Yeah Hey I found my heart I found my heart again You were standing there You bravely let me in I could wait a million years or more We have been pacing up and down for a small forever <laughs> And this thing is not even empty. Um. I feel so frustrated right now. But at the same time, I knew it wasn't gonna be empty because we still need to leave some stuff here that we can use for the next two weeks. I need to take some laundry to wash there. Before every long journey, we gotta do the deed.
out this morning with this dumpling and he is having such a good time. It's officially his mother's son date because he is loving it. Yes, I do like this one. You do? Yes. yes. Hot chocolate. That is hot chocolate. We need this. We're buying food in small bits and pieces. Can you move your shoes, darling? Because after moving, he was giving me directions to the shops. It's really nice how to get to the shops. Yeah? Beep, 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 I want that one, the pink and white, and the black one. Oh, you want that one? Mm -hmm. Mama? Yeah. It's actually rock solid. Yeah. I hope it is rock solid. You have to wait for it to melt. Yeah, can we put it here? Cold, cold. Be careful. Reach? I did. Okay, but don't we have ice cream cones at home, or did we eat them all? We eat them all. Okay. I hope they are yellow. Whatever that loves nectarines, but they gotta be yellow. He's, he's not about that, you know, those white ones inside. He doesn't like those. This doesn't look like a ball. Yes. Hey. All right. Okay. Okay. We don't take it away, guys. This is for school. Mommy needs to label it. Put the ball down. They're going to inflate that at school. You can't label a chalk, so you can't label pom-poms. I will label the scissors. This, you got to do it individually, like literally one crayon after another. Should we give Nala stars or hearts or flowers? We give Willa stars. Uh huh. No flowers and hearts. Nala must get flowers. Okay, let's see. <laughs> A lot. Why is your hand hovering? Why are you hovering? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Going to bed with a microphone. Did you give Rilla a turn? Can you give Rilla a turn? Coco. Um, when you're done, whose turn is it? Tonight we're running on the right track